Hello, everybody. Okay. I don't have that as well. The help desk is off. Hello, everybody. It is time for more Let's Play Ratchets and Clank. Last time, we completed Velden, and our ship got destroyed. So we're stuck on Nivalis, a planet that strangely resembles Earth. Scenery-wise, not shape-wise. Uh, it's not like Shiver Star or Fighter where it has a little identical Earth design, just colored differently a little bit. So, uh, which path do we take first? Obviously the most popular one. Um, right here. Break these boxes here, of course. Uh, some ammo for our bomb glove. Our bomb glove. Break you. Yeah. I don't want to end it until the bottom. I probably shouldn't. It would probably be a waste of my time. This work. That thing. If you guys need any info, I'll make a special kind of thing on Facebook or something. You know? A lot of work, you know. And if you did want the enemy, if I think there'll be one less episode for that day. Bolts here. We need them. They make us rich. We need them. I've got to have more money. Except that. Because we got that more money, I'm sorry. I'm an old person right now, so I'll well, shout those to us, everybody. I was talking to myself pretty much. No one really watching this video. You were always working for nothing. Oh, yeah. Diets. I do all of the ball in this episode, so. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you about this. There's a new thing in this game. I mean, new thing, this is the first thing. There's a thing in this game called Gold Bolts, and, uh, I'm have to go over those players in time again. This part here, you gotta defeat these three enemies before you can do anything, so... Not that bad. It's all pretty easy. Make sure you don't defeat them all right, right away, because... That's how the top team is here, so it's going to bolt first. Help in the process. I'm going to help. One of these guys out of the way. A little easier for us. You can get two of the guys out of the way, but then don't kill the third one, because you'll regret that. You really will. You really will. Talk today. Came around the floor and broke it. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Oh, what are you? Mercenaries? Torturers? Assassins? I I I'll tell you anything. Here, take my infobot. It's all I've got left. Sir, we're not assassins. Hold on. Let's see what he's got. Has this ever happened to you? 
Hi, I'm Captain Quark, and believe me, there's nothing worse than stirring down a Blargy and Snaggle Beast from the inside and knowing your equipment isn't functioning properly. That's why I come to Al's Robo Shack for all my electronic needs. Al has been the exclusive repair shop for my super electro gadgets since I was knee high to a sand mouse. If Al can't fix it, it's not broke. Right, Al? Ah. You said it, pal. So if you're fighting crime or just fighting grime, <laughs> come to Al's Robo Shack in Metropolis for all your robotic repairs. Al's Robo Shack, it's quarktastic. Do you know what this means? Yeah, Captain Quark is really sold out. No, it means Captain Quark is on Metropolis. We could tell him about this invasion. If we had a ship. Uh, what? Uh, a ship? What? You're not going to torture me? Well, this planetary chairman and I could arrange for you to borrow our courier ship. Cool. You can count on us, sir. Right. Thank you, your chairman shipliness. Okay, great. We got a bridge to get back. And they were even nice enough to let us get those bolts. Oh, not a lot of games do that. I never did figure out why. Uh, problem with games much? Um, I need to get some research done to see how many uh, gold bolts there are. I know there's, there's 30 skill points, 40 gold bolts, isn't there? Yeah, I don't remember. Uh, but, yeah, I want to go over them all and how to do them throughout this. Oh, come on. Ugh, platforms. Oh, I get the dusty, uh. Bolts here. Bolts here. Some nice bolts out of this, jeez. Okay, go up here. And here's your first gold bolt. Okay, that's our first one. Oh, come on. That's all the jump part for me. fun to break. What isn't fun to break? Yourself. Oh my god, you're right. Here, try to make the jump is helpful a little bit. Oh wait. Block that key. I don't want blocks for the boxes. The crates. It. <laughs> look, plumber's crack. What did you just say? I said, look, the plumber's back. All right, wise guy. Shouldn't you be on one of them escape transports? Escape transports? Newsflash, giant robots attacking. The escape transports are taking all the rich folks off this goddarn planet. So why aren't you on one? Socioeconomic disparity. What? He hasn't got enough bolts. Working people have to wait for Captain Quark to save us. Well, got anything worth a lot of bolts? I got this thing. Shows two weirdos ditching their ship. It's got coordinates to a desert planet, too. An infobot. Ratchet, we could use that. It only took me three minutes to go through that path. And you guys complain this game takes too long. You guys have problems. Geronimo! Did he just slide down a sewer pipe? Mayday, Mayday! This is 
is the solar ship Radical. We seem to be under attack from the planet's surface. Relax, kid. It looks like some sort of fireworks display. Probably in your honor. Whoa! That was close. Ah! Pipe down, I can't concentrate. Well, we've been hit! Uh, an unexpected detour. When we land, I'll see if I can scare up an exhibition for you. We're not gonna live that long! Kid, let's am scream! Eject! Eject! Did you see that guy on the left? That was Skid McMarks. Does he know Captain Quark? I doubt it. He's a pro hoverboarder, always going off about how cool he is. Looks like he's in trouble. I'll say. I've never seen him look so freaked out. Okay. Interesting. So Skid McMarks passed his ship, I see. Yeah, I played this game about 20 times, maybe more. Don't ask why I know these cutscenes so well. I actually have these first couple of cutscenes like memorized. It's kind of scary. People are actually scared of me for that. It's not that bad. Well, okay, we have one more path to take. This one's not that long. This one's actually the shortest one here. This is actually an optional path. You aren't going to get nothing but a gold bolt. And, you know, gold bolt. People out there, you want them all? Oh, we gotta go this way. Oh yeah, gold bulls, by the way. Uh, I did some research. They are there are only 48 games. That's sad. Thank you so much for the For later. I'm never gonna understand what I just saw, but okay. Oh, <sighs> game humor. Okay, go under here. Should we have... Oh, no, wait, can I see? I think I'm going now, I'm like... Okay. I'm jumping ahead of myself. Get out. Get out of the water. Thank you. Get out of here, you scoundrels. I'm gonna do a lot of edits this one, that's kinda sad. I expect to do a lot of edits, but it's not. Okay, get out your bomb glove, everyone. Yeah, we're actually gonna use it for once. See that crack in the wall right there? I don't know if you guys can see it. It's not right here, it's positioned. Well, if you throw your bomb glove. Wow, it broke. And there go bolt. That was a well hidden one. Okay, grab this. I think you should all know how to use bolt crank by now, but They teach it later on, but why not me? Yeah, if you grab onto a bolt crank, uh, be square. I don't know already by now. You should know by now. Okay, one more thing before we finish this wonderful episode. There is a new weapon for sale. Look at that beauty. Shut up ammo here for this thing. We're actually going to use this one once in a while. This is the Pyro Cider. Uh, let me show off a little bit of what it can do. It's a nice little weapon here. Yeah, baby. This thing wasn't remade until Size Matters, and that was an unofficial game. It was a spin-off. Yeah. This game, this weapon wasn't remade until a spin-off, and it was only remade in the spin-off, and it's spin-off sequel. Ain't that horrible. That's how shitty this gun is. Well, thank you guys for watching. Burn, burn, burn.